What's going on, boxing fans? It's Pool Kind of Boxing. Smash that like button, subscribe to my channel. So, have you ever, like, you know what I'm saying, had somebody that was, you know what I'm saying, spreading rumors about you and they wanted to fight you around the school, but every time you saw them, you know what I'm saying, they had nothing to say. Or, you know what I'm saying, but every time you, you know what I'm saying, you go somewhere, somebody said that, this guy had something to say about you. That's how I feel Terrence Crawford is, you know. He likes to, you know, spread rumors, but he don't like to really back up what he's saying, right? And that's that's the frustration because does does he want to fight Earl Smith Jr. or do we just want to, um, you know, soil this man's reputation? And, you know, you want to look at Bud like he's a great fighter. But he make these mean girl moves, him and his fans. They move like mean girls, you know, where they want to bully people in the public. You know, men don't do that. Fighters don't do that. We, we saw things in the ring through actions, through courage. Um, and it's just unbecoming of a fighter, of a champion. So I asked the question, you know what I'm saying? Is, is he truly worth you know, is he worthy of a fight with Errol Spence Jr.? Because Errol Spence Jr. don't do all this kind of thing. They, and most fighters don't. You know, where they're, they're always bringing their case, these fake cases to the to the public. And then once, you know what I'm saying, everything gets out in the open and you get exposed, you just go on to the next thing. And nobody holds Bud Crawford accountable. And it's like everybody just act like this dude haven't lied a million times, yet we're supposed to believe him every time he comes up with something new. Now it's um, expense reports. Before it was um, Errol Spence Jr. was ducking him. Before it's Errol Spence Jr. ain't the same. You know what I'm saying? It's He's a drunk. He's this and that. So when you have fighters operating in this kind of energy, bro, you know what I'm saying, it's it just kind of brings down, it brings down the um, excitement for the fight for me because this dude looked like he's more interested in, you know what I'm saying, a smear campaign than getting into the ring. Now, I see Terrence Crawford training, but is he training for Errol Smith Jr.? I mean, do he want to fight Errol Smith Jr.? Or do he just want the publicity that comes along with attaching his name to Earl Spence Jr. And I'm starting to believe the latter. I think that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? I don't think he has no intention on fighting this guy because who, you know, who, what fighter you know that, um, what fighter you know that insists on seeing all these details about the fight? I mean, he didn't do that with me, Machine. He didn't do that with Thomas DeLorme. He didn't do that with Gamboa. He didn't do that with Sean Porter. He didn't do that with, um, you know, Green Machine. All these fights got made without all this extra BS. And just because it's the biggest fight don't mean that none of the business details need to change. You know, I mean, the shame of it all is you've had 38 fights, but now you finally in your in, in your, in your career, you're fighting a finally a 50 50 fight. And now you got all kind of problems because you might get your ass whipped. So that's the problem people have with Terrence Crawford. You know, all smoke and mirrors. You think we don't see this? You know, the only people that support this this kind of cowardly behavior is his fans. Because they ride with anything, he, any way he moves. You know what I'm saying? They're going to support Terrence Crawford. And it's like, it's just, it's just sickening because... You know, you're not considered a great fighter until you beat another great fighter. And that's all, you know what I'm saying, anybody is saying about Terrence, about Bud Crawford. Nobody cares about your accolades, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, if you haven't beat anybody great, then your accolades mean nothing. I mean, as simple as that. There's, it's not a lot of um, mental gymnastics involved, you know, if you haven't beat. You know what I'm saying? A Kodo, if you haven't, you know what I'm saying, beat a Floyd Mayweather, if you haven't beat a Earl Spence Jr., you know what I'm saying? These these are great accomplishments. People who've beat other great fighters and then you beat that fighter. That's what makes you great, bro. Not 
the checklist that Terrence Crawford came up with undisputed. It's like, dude, you fight twice, you know what I'm saying, twice every 10 years, bro. You know what I'm saying? That is not a pound for pound champion. You know what I'm saying? These dudes are lazy, you know? And then when you finally get a 50 50 fight, you know, it's almost like, you know, you got to have, you know, you got to have the universe, you know what I'm saying, in order, you know what I'm saying, so for you before you get into the ring to fight this guy. So, I mean, is he is he juicing? You know what I'm saying? What is he doing? I mean, I, you know, Bud is the type of dude, you know what I'm saying, he has a big ego, and I believe he would cheat to win. You know what I'm saying? If I was Errol Spence Jr., I would have that nigga uh, hair sample, you know what I'm saying, tested. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know what I'm saying, you know, people who are uh, despicable as the Bud Camp, Crawford Camp, you know what I'm saying? They, they you know, they don't want to be embarrassed. You know what I'm saying? They want to win by any means necessary. And we already see the man has no morals and no, no kind of, uh, you know, he lives by no virtues. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to this boxing game, you know, not speaking, you know, as a father or nothing like that, but you could be a good father, but you could still be a despicable uh, businessman. You know what I'm saying? And that's what that's what this all pans out. You know, a lot of talk from Bud Crawford. Um, I'm tired of him. You know what I'm saying? I wish I wish Earl Spence Jr. just move up to 154 and get it on. Or he could fight uh, Jerome Booth Ennis at 154 because this dude here, he's a clown, bro. You know what I'm saying? It, it does not take this long and take this much preparation, you know what I'm saying, to make a deal in boxing and apparently you know what I'm saying since he's not the center of tension or he's not the focal point he got a problem with that so he's gonna drag this shit out I don't know if he's you know if if he's got some of that Canelo juice and he's trying to wash it out of the system but if I was Zero Spence Jr. I wouldn't put nothing beyond this guy you know what I'm saying because he wants to win that bad you know what I'm saying and um I just hope the fight happens um I, um, I would like a quiet um, Terrence Crawford because to his camp, you know what I'm saying? The truth is just a lie undiscovered. You know what I'm saying? So we already see how they get down. and um, But that's pretty much all I got. This has been Pool Counter Boxing. Make sure you smash that like button. Subscribe to my channel for more hardcore boxing content. See you guys in the next one. Remember what I say. Law don't go around here, law dog. Just have it. See you guys in the next one. Peace.